Hello. Today we're going to proceed with academical reading sample task number four. So on the left hand side we have a text. So let's read the task. Academical reading sample task. Matching features. Note this is an extract from an academical reading passage on the development of rockets. The text uh, presenting the extract. This extract explores the slow uh, development of the rocket and explains the principle of uh, propulsion. On the left hand side, on the right hand side, we have a task, academic reading sample task, matching features, question 7 to 10. Look at the following items, question 7 to 10, and a list is, is of groups below. Match each item with a group which first invented or used them. Uh, write the correct letter A to E in box 7 to 10 on your answer sheet. You may use a letter more than once. So, question number 7 it says black powder. And uh, we have to find first invented or used by who? The Chinese, the Indians, the British, the Arabs, Americans. So we're gonna uh, scan and try to find information about black powder. I'm not gonna highlight this keyword. We're just uh, gonna focus on the keyword itself. So uh, here uh, we're gonna uh, highlight our keywords. Uh, and uh, in the first sentence I was saying about black powder, I'm going to highlight this black powder. And uh, who is who invented it or first used it? So from this first paragraph it was saying about Chinese. So uh, let's read these two sentences. The invention of rockets is linked uh, in extreme... Uh, in inextricably with the invention of black powder most historians of technology credit the chinese with its discovery so it was done by chinese so the answer to question number seven is going to be a so if you guys want we can just proceed to the following question number eight rocket propel propelled arrows for fighting so we're gonna find an information about ro rocket propelled arrows so um we scan further and try to find any information about rocket so uh here in the following sentences we have some information about rockets and as I was saying about rocket hair as well, let's highlight it. And the hair rocket propelled arrows, gonna highlight it. And uh, uh, we are trying to figure out who invented or used them. So here still we have information only about Chinese. Uh, what exactly they've done? They are saying about hair, hair Chinese as well. So. So, uh, the answer to, qu to question number 8, rocket propelled arrows for fighting is going to be Chinese, A. So, we'll go further to question number 9, rockets as war weapons. So, um, who used rockets as war weapons? For that, we need uh, to find some information about rockets, which started to use uh, during war and here they will say about rocket let's highlight this word and uh, about uh, uh, a weapon so it was used as a weapon so um, by uh, on, on the European continent so it was used by this Indian people, Indian rocket against the British uh, in the late 18th century. So the answer to question number nine is gonna be Indian. So um, Indians. So question number ten is rocket launcher. So we're gonna focus on launching of the rocket. Who was first launched launched the rocket? So here they were saying about rockets as well, and uh, uh, about the launcher, we have here some information that is highlighted. And uh, um, 
Let's read these two sentences. The Americans developed rockets complete with its own launcher to, to use against the Mexicans in the mid-19th century. So, uh, these Americans were the first people who were using, uh, who was launching rockets. So, the answer to question number 10 is going to be E, Americans. So let's proceed with academic reading uh, task number four. On the left hand side we have a text which is divided by sections and uh, on the uh, right hand side we have a, a task related to this text. Let's read the task. Academic reading sample task matching headings question one to five sample passage six has six sections A to F Choose the correct heading for section A to D and F from the list of headings below. Write the correct number from 1 to 9 in boxes 1 to 5 on your answer sheet. So, uh, first of all, we have sections 1 uh, to 5 on the section E. We have an answer which is this uh, six effect of government policy in poor countries. So we're going to read section uh, A and uh, uh, highlight keywords and uh, try to understand the meaning of that text. So as I recommend in previous lessons, so first two sentences uh, and uh, uh, we can read sometimes the last sentence if we are not getting what exactly uh, it's written in the text. So read this first, uh, first and second sentences in section A. The role of government in environmental management is difficult but uh, inescapable. Sometimes the state, state tries to manage the resources, resources it, it owns and uh, does so badly. So we can read the last sentence as well. Growth and environmentalism can actually go hand in hand if politicians have the courage to confront the best interests that uh, subs this create so we're gonna highlight here our keywords which is our government role so and uh, about the management of this uh, environmental management uh, the role of government in, in, in environmental management so we're gonna uh, read these sentences and try to find which one is close to this the profitable effect of the new uh, international trade agreement is an environmental impact of modern farming, farming and the soil erosion, the effects of government policy in rich countries, governments and the management of the environment. So as I was saying about government and the management of the environment, so the answer to question number one is going to be five, which is this one, because they were saying about government and about the management, managing of this um, and uh, environmental management. So we go further to text number uh, text B. So uh, question number two, section B. So no activity affects more on earth surface than farming. So same about farming. So it shapes a third of the planet's land area, not counting Antarctica, and the proportion uh, is rising. So as I was saying about farming, so here. In, uh, in here we have farming and the food output and uh, also they were mentioning farming and the soil erosion so which one is gonna be uh, our answer so there is nothing about soil erosion they just were saying about the uh, farming and then in case we scan further and the uh, we can see about increases in yields, which is also related to the output of food. So the answer to question number two is going to be seven, farming and the food output. So we we'll go further to uh, question number three, section C, which is here. All these activities may have damaging environmental impact. So the environment, I'm going to highlight for environmental impact. For example, land clearing for agriculture is the largest single cause of 
deforestation, chemical fertilizers and the pesticides may contaminate water supplies, more intensive farming and the, the abandonment of uh, fallow pools tend to uh, exacerbate soil erosion and the spread of enclosure and the use of high yielding uh, varieties of crops have been accomplished by the disappearance of the varieties of fruit plants which might have provided some insurance against pests or uh, disease in future. So they were saying about environmental impact. So uh, we have only here as a question as answer number two is environment level of modern farming. So the answer to question number three, section C is gonna be two. We'll go further. And um, question number four, section D, which is here. So we just read first sentence at the second one as well. Government policies have frequently compounded environmental damage the farming can cause. It's about farming and the environmental damage as well, which occurs due to the farming activities. And the rich countries sub subsides for growing crops and price suppose farm output drive up the price of land. It happens in the rich countries. You can highlight the rich countries in the here. When we scan off all of these answers, we can see here they were saying about the, uh, the effect of government policy in rich countries. So they were saying about uh, about the government policies in rich countries itself. So I'm gonna highlight this one as well. So the answer question number four, section D is gonna be uh, is gonna be four. So we go to question number five, section F. So let's read the section F. We miss a section D because we have answer on it. So in section F, result uh, of of the Uruguay round of the world trade negotiation is likely to be a reduction of 36% in the average levels of farm subsides paid by the rich countries in 1986 uh, and the 1990. Some of the world's food production will move from Western Europe to regions where uh, subsides are lower or non existent, such as the former communist countries and the parts of the developing. Uh, world, so they were saying what exactly is the effect of the new international trade agreement. So the answer to question five, section F, is going to be the probable effect of the new international trade agreement. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Good luck with your IELTS exam. Bye.